Oh, my favorite run in the entire game. Love it so much. That yeah, was a good trip. Got some good stuff. There goes another hundred pounds of gunfire, gunpowder being uh, expended against some dogs. no ready to eat food with me at the moment. dogs. What do we got? Deliver the package to Agriprom. Uh, throw the mutants. Heck yeah. That's the daily. Another. Oh, they reset it. That's funny. Delivery to wild territory. Where would that be at for duty? Sniper Alley? Duty, unless it's a roaming patrol, duty doesn't have anybody anywhere else in wild territory. Hmm. Now that one could be anywhere and is probably in a dangerous position. But it doesn't give me a heavy thing to carry around, so sure. If Sniper Alley's friendly, there's a fair chance I might be able to get to wherever that is. Zombie hands? I probably have zombie hands. Might have a fracture hand. We'll check that when we get back. Get to the base. Oh, if I don't see Fracture Hand on the list, I'll know it was these guys and I'm out of range. Still not sure of the total range on that thing. Let there be light. Bar and merchant turn-ins. Uh, let's dump inventory first. Смотреть в оба. Внимание. Gonna be too heavy to move, probably, if I grab these. Now it usually works. Yep, as soon as I step away. There, hold some stuff for me. Still can't move. Old more stuff. Still can't move. Uh. 
Now, ugh, now give them all back. Okay, um, some of this is junk actually that I just handed them to use, but that we're definitely keeping, that we're keeping. Um, that's my submachine gun to use, keeping that, and keeping that. Alright, they can have shotguns for now. Get the rest of this stuff stored. Um... Exes both in terrible condition. Так, собрались. Внимание. Just the one PDA? I thought I had a couple of PDA. Guess just the one. The aimless meandering is going to drive me nuts, guys. I've told you about that. <laughs> Get over here. Так, собрались. That guy's not going to move again. Alright. Um... Don't need hydro chalk with me currently. Carrying a lot of ammo types. Probably have to trim that down some, make some uh, tighter choices on some of those. Uh, don't need you either. All right, I think we're good to go. Uh, repairs, let's get some repair work done. you although I only have one hmm. all right what do we got uh, need you too many up oh, there we go don't need six of you So yes, you can combine uh, quantities up to the maximum stack size on certain types of items. Can't do it for everything. Definitely empty you guys out. That's what's making me so heavy. All that vodka. Canteens. 
So four bandages, five Yadlin, only one med kit. Yeah, I used the med kit earlier, so I need to get another med kit. I think that's about all we need for the moment. All right, so uh, basic repairs done. Uh, what are we at? Five. A 93, huh? Ninety-three, ninety-four is usually what I let it drop down to. Then I get it repaired. Uh, this does six percent, so that's usually what I use. So there we go. Ninety-nine is fine. That's fine, and that's fine. All right, so weapons are back in peak condition. Damn, armor's down to 95 already, huh? That's what this is for. Again, repairs 6%, so 94, 95 is usually where I want to top it back off again. All right, so little green bars is what I'm looking at. It was a bar representation of the durability. You always want to keep them topped up, um, so carry around some of the basic supplies. Because if they drop too far, you have to use more and more expensive supplies in order to get them repaired up again. So it's by far cheaper just to uh, continuously keep them topped up. Uh, so everything's looking good. Let's see. What else? Next up, we've got uh, four basic tools ready to go. If I've got, what, what was it, 18 charges of vodka total? I think it was 18. How many charges have we got? I think I have enough. I can't combine now. So 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We got about 21. So I could buy a fifth, but we're still one short. Is it 20? All right, whatever the number is. <laughs> I know it's just short of how many bottles was it? I forget how many bottles it needed, but whatever. As long as I'm over 20, we're good. I really, really, really don't want to use that option. I would rather use this for other things. That's why I always cringe every time I get to the point where I haven't found an advanced kit yet and I have to uh, do the here, take a huge amount of vodka for one kit, and then here, take a huge amount of kits to make one advanced. Oh, it's so resource expensive. But you got to do it. The primary thing slowing you down is getting that advanced kit. All right, so we got a couple of missions to turn in. We might unlock a few available stashes, so let's do that. We're not quite tired enough to sleep yet. We determined earlier the sleep thing is at about 43%. Uh, uh, so we're at 46, so we're not far off. A little bit longer. So a little bit of running around in town. <clears throat> Dash in Corden. I mean, yay, it's in Corden. Easy for us to get to. Boo, it's in Corden, the easiest zone with the lowest chances of us to get anything good. I don't need anything from you. We'll get to the merchant, turn him in. And then we'll check for new missions. We do have a Kill Mutants mission. Hopefully it spawned dogs during the daytime when I took the mission and isn't going to spawn nighttime encounter when we get over there. You get a lot more dangerous if you take this mission at night. Get some bloodsucker or sigh sucker hanging around at the gate instead of uh, little fluffy dogs. No stash. And again, no stash, you bastard. I mean, 20 grand, yay, but no stash. What's up with that? 
All right, we're still sitting at 90 for the rifle. That's plenty. 74. And then I picked up some slug ammo in case I know I'm going up against stalkers. So we'll have slug ammo in the shotgun and we'll put AP ammo in the submachine gun. Won't we roll around a corner and go close quarters? Um, so I think we're okay on ammo for the moment. Don't need any of that. I need to start looking at secondary stuff now. We're at 76,000. One thing I have to consider is I need a pretty fat wad of cash for when we do get the uh, advanced toolkit. The instant we get that, we're going to need to buy a ton of stuff. Um, and I might start pre-buying some of it now uh, because we're going to have to buy it anyway. And the technicians are limited in their daily stock, so it's best to buy it if you know you're going to need it and you have the cash available. That way... You don't get the kit, then have to go to the trade or the, the tech and find out he doesn't have enough of the things you need and you have to wait a day or go visit another tech. There's a bit of that consideration involved. Um, and then I've got to buy those recipes. I got to get the recipe unlocks so we can get some gear upgraded. So lots of things to throw the money at. Almost none of which we're going to do here. Other than, oh, what the hell was the thing I usually went for? The Freon emission? Or was it the, uh, I can't remember. It wasn't the Camelback. It wasn't the frame. I think it was the Freon, the upgraded Freon one. That thing. Improved Freon emission module. Yeah, stamina recovery 27%. And weight carried plus 4.2 kilograms. But we, we won't be able to do that for a while, so not in a big hurry on that stuff. Let's kind of wait for advanced and then pursue that line. Yeah, I think I'm just going to wait. Oh yeah, let's go talk to the doc and at least get one more med kit. One of those, please. Heck, let's get two. Um, what's our what's our reputation up to? Oh, just shy of a thousand. Another mission. If we do the gate mission, eh, I don't think a single mission is going to bump us over a thousand. We got Clear Sky, which we're gaining faction with them because we're doing like stalker missions and they're allied or something. I, I forget the exact connection, but killing bandits makes Clear Sky happy, basically. And so we're gaining faction with them without directly interacting with them, which is good because they're one of the NATO producer, NATO weapons uh, users. So we can go to them to get ammo and such. Uh, Northgate, South, Northgate. Uh, oh, that's because I left him there. It's telling me. All right. Um, so our, uh, unfortunately, we got to uh, find the missing soldier there. Yeah, we're going to have to be able to clear the whole zone, basically, to get back there and do those. Wow, it's... Kind of dark out. Oh, my battery ran out. I have a fresh battery. Um, so it's dogs at the north gate. I guess I'll roll up and we'll do those real quick. So that's good. Unless it's like demon dogs. Then it'll suck. Follow me, guys. Just in case. Hey, retired enough to sleep. 43%. Yeah, it's been a while since I ate.
How deep are you, dogs? Don't make me chase you across the zone line again, because that's really annoying. Come on. Come at me, dogs. You back behind the trees? Yep. Oh, you guys are going to run forward? You're a bunch of idiots. <laughs> there he goes. Whoa, dude. Careful. Dog's running past the zone line now. Come on, kill it. I can't go much further forward. Right about where that tree is, is where the zone line is. Cool. I don't care where the body's at. <laughs> Get me out of here. Who's the turn in for that? Down in the bar? I don't think I have any other prepared foods. Let's see. We got plenty of flesh meat. Yeah, flesh meat. My cooker. My gas. Overweight. Of course, my vodka. Even more overweight. Way overweight. Forget how to move portions. Oh, I don't need to move. I keep keep forgetting I don't have to go to the campfire <laughs> for this one. Yes, infused flesh, please. Liquid fuel only. Alright, that gave us seven. That'll last me a couple of days. And we are out of fuel. So I'll have to budget that in. I really don't want to eat before I sleep. Uh, let's have some canned goods or something. Not snork. That's terrible. They have much. I ate the other stuff. And this is worth pretty good money. I don't want to use the ration. Hmm. Well. Fine. Не 
Agroprom stash again. They're working hard to draw me into that death trap. Guys, I hate your meandering so much. Even when you have the standstill command, if you're close, you meander into me, constantly bugging me. Why do they have to have that behavior? Is nobody else really annoyed by that? <laughs> they all want a hug. Uh, and then the assholes won't move when I tell them to move to get away from my spot. <laughs> oh my god, it's so annoying. Uh, I gotta go back to my no NPCs policy. <laughs> God, I hate these guys. They are so ridiculously annoying. If you give them a wait here command, just literally stand still. <laughs> Alright, we got food. We got water. We got meds. Uh, actually, we've got meds I'm not going to use. Bitch, those. Keep the rest. Got to get rid of these things. A lot of our carry capacity has been taken up by these delivery missions I haven't finished. All right, uh, before we go to sleep, I need to do a double check on some things. So I'm assuming these things are mostly all army rifle. Yeah, definitely. If not advanced. So these fancy weapons all use the repair kit I don't have access to. Okay, so they're all army rifle. Now, one of them, the arrow's got a good barrel. Let's uh, let's pull that across for a second. See if we might have parts to fit into it. Or that we can repair up. So we've got... Ugh. Nope, can't fix those. We got nothing. We got no component parts I could stick into that thing. And possibly I could pull parts out of the other weapons. There might be some things in common. Oh, 92 on the G36. I didn't notice that either. It saves a lot of hassle. Huh. I don't think we're going to have any more luck with the G36, but take a look. Nope, same item. We don't have any good parts for All right, so yeah, we're still kind of stuck. Even though we've got some with good barrels, I can't get the components repaired. Still can't get into our load-bearing Sunrise tactical suit. Still can't get into the ACH. Can't get into the sphere. So we're still kind of in a holding pattern. All right, so nothing to do over there. Uh, we got repair items. We fixed up our intermediate gear. We need more basic toolkits. At least one. So if we can get one more toolkit out of our basic stashes, we can dump a bunch of vodka and toolkits to get the advanced, and then we can start getting our gear upgraded again. All right. Uh, I can't think of anything else I need to do there. Nothing to do with the artifacts for now. Yeah, I need to get some slotted armor so we can get some of these hide bonuses put on. And we're up to 7 and 7 on Playboy and Maxim. 
All right, so actually, let me look at that list again. Uh, so we got lots of zombie hands. We got two fracture hands. I remember both of those being on the quest list. We got orc legs, flesh eyes, lots of boar, lots of claws. All right, which missions can we see from here? Fracture hand, we've got no chimera meat. Dog meat, we've got fracture hand, dog meat, zombie hands. That's it. All right, so you, you, and you. There's the wandering push again. Uh, one of my da, one of my guys has one of the quests, and then we're down to the bar again. You wanted dog meat, huh? Two hundred and fifty monies for my dog meat? Not really worth it. Oh, one of these other guys has also got one. You wanted the hands? Two grand? That's a little better. Uh oh, blocking the door? Oh, we managed to squeeze through. All right, you cheapskates, start tossing out stashes. The only reason to do these stupid little quests. <laughs> Dead city. Thanks. I mean, I guess I got what I asked for. I don't think I grabbed the items down here earlier. More vodka. Nah, I've got enough now. I've got enough of the Nemirov. The Patinka we'll need more of, but we'll we'll come across that as we travel. Save again. And go take a nap. Ugh, we're gonna waste so much food potential. Oh well. Guess I don't need the bonuses immediately. Alright, so two of these guys are hired mercs. One of them's a uh, rescue that we gotta turn back in. So what's our what's our plan? Got nothing going on here. I could go check Sniper Alley. I'm not sure I wanna roll into here. Currently? Sure would be nice to finish those and get those stashes, though. Two missions, two stashes tucked back there. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Screw you, game. That's the military faction camp. They've tucked a uh, great stash back in the corner of the military faction camp. I don't have a disguise to let me in there yet. So I've got two stashes in there I can't get to. Ah. Duty guy, you're going to get your ass shot off. <laughs> there's, there's usually a campfire full of military right here. If you move much further up, there you go. Yeah, head back in, you idiot. You're going to get killed, and then I'm going to get penalized on reputation. This is kind of an annoying thing. All right, so our choices are we could uh, fast travel via the guide at the bar, back down to Corden, turn the mission in. We've got a uh, dash there. But we got nothing else going on down here. But we'd be able to pick up the new daily missions. 
recording. Um, most of our actions in Agriprom and uh, Wildlands, though. I could... Uh, I really, really don't want to try this. It's usually too many guys at the checkpoint, and I'd get overwhelmed and shredded in my newbie armor. You need to go up and get that one right there. That's the good one. Could hop over, make a run for the army warehouse stash. Not super dangerous. We, we can get killed on that route, but... Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave these two guys here for the moment, and I'm going to run up and try to get that stash. Are these three guys? We'll leave them here. Nah, I still got these. I gotta get to the various people to turn them in. We're getting enough faction pretty soon. I'm gonna start just opening those cases. I don't care about the faction loss. Once we get over to the borderline, I'll uh, eat my vodka and fire and fi uh, <laughs> infused flesh. More dogs, huh? Whoa, whoa. Now oh, I hate those things so much. That wasn't quite the way I expected that to go. I'm bleeding to death while reloading. One bandage wasn't enough. Apparently we got bit real bad. I saw you move in there, puppy. Come on, get over here. I hope we don't get shot between here and the uh, Freedom Base. <laughs> I'm going to have the doc fix me up if I get over there instead of me spending more medkits. Or, you know, like we're just going to crash on the zone. <laughs> That's the other option. Oh, hey, Stalker Gamma. Doing, buddy. Usually it saves as soon as you hit the zone line, so it, we didn't lose anything. Just take a minute to get back in. I'm actually going to step away from the computer for a second while we reload. Be back with you here shortly. Because it gives me control of my computer back. Oh, God dang it. Now it... <laughs> Exit, yes. All right, you get to see a black screen for a short. All right. Heavily wounded. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Get running. I know you're wounded, dude. I'm aware. You don't need to grunt and groan at me. Two direction of danger, up on the hill there and up on the hill over here. <laughs> Once I get up here, we should be okay, theoretically. <laughs> uh, 
Alright. I don't usually get in much trouble up here. Get the long gun out, take a look at a few things. As far as the fog will let me anyway. I'm moving on the road. Most of the gunfire sounds like it's coming from the hills and the checkpoints way back there. We have friendlies at the checkpoint there. Yeah, I got some action going on out there. Oh, it's the one on the train. All right. Come on, advanced kit. I'll take a basic. I want an advanced. I got neither. <laughs> we got a glucose, which is great. A uh, anti-personnel mine. Some cash. And uh, the Watchman of Freedom. I mean, I do like a freedom suit. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll take that. It's going to be a little harder to fix that up. Details. Oh, that's a medium. Yeah, never mind. That's not one I'm likely going to use. We have to find a better one for a disguise. I'll carry it for the moment. Eh, 56. That thing's heavy. 8 kilograms. Nah, I need just the vest or one of the light suits. This thing's... I can't even repair this thing. It's too heavy to try to cart around. <sighs> I don't know. Got slot, slot. So two extra slots. Pretty standard mix of the rest of the stuff. So, I mean, okay, but... Go chat with the doc. Get healed. Hey, stop. Remember if I ran through and grabbed any of the freebie stuff. Apparently not. Oops. Not much in here this time. I 
And they're being kind of stingy. Yeah, let's go ahead and have the, the flesh. This will help. Stamina regen and carry weight increase. Here we go. <laughs> God dang it. Uh, gotta love it. Gotta love it. Can't move. Oh, oh, it kind of looked like we were going to make some kind of move. Uh, nope, now we're out of stamina. Can't break anything that's going to let me move. Uh, let's see. I forget. God mode. It looked like I just walked right out of that. All right. That's why I like to play with debug menu on. That kind of nonsense. think there's anything I want to buy from you. We're okay on vodka now. I guess we got enough. I can grab some patinka. Not gonna pick up more of this here, not right now anyway. I need to remember the hierarchy of drugs. I think it's Vinca is one of the core ones I need to start picking up. I forget the other ones. All right, I'm gonna just leave it alone. Just keep accumulating cash. I'd like to have like a hundred thousand sitting around by the time we get to the point where I need to, uh, or I get the kit. All right. So, I mean, eh, I get really nervous about truck cemetery, but at least it's on the outskirts, not buried in the middle. <laughs> Love that guy. My, my dude, who's now probably wandered off and uh, is no longer really in contact with me. It's going to be a pain in the ass to get my guys back together. Because <laughs> they'll be perpetually traveling between zones. All right, let's... Um, just debating if I want to take my Mauser over and try to get that northern stash. We got a nice clear day. Guess I'll make a decision when we get over that end of the zone. First, we got to get back to that end of the zone safely. There were some stalkers howling right near the zone in up the hill. Be a lot happier if I was rolling through this zone with an assault rifle of my own. So if we go for that zone line, there's a lot of potential mutants that I could get in trouble with. We've got to get to like right there, across the zone. And there's commonly quite a few mutants, dogs and lurkers and such in this area. And this whole area is saturated with anomalies. Yeah, let's check back here first.
shooting up the hill at lurkers, I'm hoping. On the other side of the zone line. Well, though, that's a merc. But I can't get the loot. That sucks. Merc is killing uh, guys, and I can't help. Oh, I could help, but <laughs> he got killed. But I can't go over there and loot. Because that's the zone line. I hate it when they do that stuff. Oh, well. So, we heard lurkers howling up on the hillside here. They could be dead by now, or they could be tucked back behind the hill. Well, we're here, get a save, and then we'll peek down this hill. <laughs> More vodka. So much vodka we're finding. All right, a couple potential problems here. So our target is in a little hut back behind those trees over there. And there's a checkpoint for mercenaries not far much past that. Plus there could be mutants running about gambling through the area here. Fireballs aren't a concern. Looking pretty clear. See if I can get down close enough, and if we have a shot at the guy, we might not. We might be able to kill. Oh shit. Oh shit. Dog went back down the hill. Who's involved in this ruckus over here? I don't know who this is. We had loners down there earlier. shooting at me or not <laughs> yep that's a bad guy in the trees oh come on I hate it when they shoot me from behind bushes they get to see through the bushes but I don't Come on. Walked him into the shot. Oh no, that wasn't a fracture that chased me up the hill. That was a that was a big dog. Deem a pimp. <laughs> we killed a pimp. I think I got another corpse right there. If we don't get more mercenaries coming across the border there. Uh, I need to get over to uh, slug ammo. In case we have a close encounter of the uh, human kind. Maybe. We might have some loot. Sounded like he had a big gun. Shotgun, MP133. Eh, not much on him I care about. The Kunin 357. 
Hopefully this guy is a little better and hopefully it doesn't zone me before I click on him. Come on. What is that? SKS Tactical? There's a grenade and it instantly got slotted in. <laughs> Poor loner guy running around with an SKS Tactical. I'm trying to remember if I've seen this before. Is this new? Twenty round magazine size firing seven six two by thirty nine with a six hundred fire rate. Huh. And historic. I mean, that's interesting. Well, you know, historic. Lebedev PL-15 Tactical, 16 round magazine size, firing 9x19. Integrated attachments, optical sight, and suppressor. Yeah, let's take that too. Fortunately, we can't get any of bodies over there. I don't think there's any more over here. Yeah, that guy was trying to shoot me with a shotgun from like, 200 yards. All right, we're going back up the hill again. See if I can verify what chased me away. I'm pretty sure it was one of the dog variants. <laughs> 